Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. To my words give ear, O Lord. Give heed to my sighs. Attend to the sound of my cry my King, and my God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, in this Eucharistic celebration, we commemorate the 35th anniversary of the People Power EDSA Revolution. We pray that in this Mass, we might be reminded of God's loving mercy that He showed our country 35 years ago so that we might attain again freedom, justice, and mercy in our country. And so to thank the Lord in this celebration, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask Him for pardon and strength. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Bestow on us, we pray, O Lord, a spirit 
of always pondering on what is right and of hastening to carry it out. And since without you we cannot exist, may we be enabled to live according to your will. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Esther. Queen Esther, seized with moral anguish, had recourse to the Lord. She lay prostrate upon the ground, together with her handmaids, from morning until evening, and said, God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and God of Jacob, blessed are you. Help me, who am alone and have no help but you, for I am taking my life in my hand. As a child, I used to hear from the books of my forefathers that you, O Lord, always free those who are pleasing to you. Now, help me, who am alone and have no one but you, O Lord my God. And now, come to help me, an orphan. Put in my mouth persuasive words in the presence of the lion and turn his heart to hatred for our enemy so that he and those who are in league with him may perish. Save us from the hand of our enemies. Turn our mourning into gladness and our sorrows into wholeness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart, for you have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I will sing your praises. I will worship at your holy temple and give thanks to your name. Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. Because of your kindness and your truth, for you have made great above all things your name and your promise. When I called, you answered me. You built up strength within me. Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. Your right hand saves me. The Lord will complete what he has done for me. Your kindness, O Lord, endures forever. Forsake not the work of your hands. Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. Please stand. Diyos ko sa akigawad, noob ing tunay na tapat, puso ko'y gawin mong wagas, nang manauli ang galak, bunga ng iyong pagliligtas. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds, and to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. Which one of you would hand his son a stone when he asked for a loaf of bread, 
or a snake when he asked for a fish. If you then who are wicked know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly Father give good things to those who ask Him? Do to others whatever you would have them do to you. This is the law and the prophets. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. We remember today the faith, the power of faith and prayer that was shown in EDSA 35 years ago, 1986. And as we remember this great event of faith, we are strengthened. Our faith is also strengthened. Our resolve is also strengthened. This is what we hear from our first reading today from the book of Esther. She was undergoing a great trial because of an enemy within the kingdom. And what was her source of strength? Looking back at the faith of her forefathers. Sa kanyang pagdaan sa pagsubok, sa matinding pagsubok, ano ang naging lakas ni Esther sa ating unang pagbasa? Ang kanyang naging lakas ay ang mga kwento ng pananampalataya ng kanyang mga ninuno. And so when she was feeling helpless, when she was feeling very weak in her prayers, she said, Help me, for I am alone. She said, As a child, I used to hear from the books of my forefathers that you, O Lord, always free those who are pleasing to you. Now, help me who am alone and have no one but you, O Lord my God. She was feeling very weak, but when she remembered the story of her forefathers in faith, then it has become a source of strength for her. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, we also do this in our prayer and even in times of weakness, we remember the faith story of our forefathers of the EDSA revolution in 1986. And I'm sure today we will hear a lot of stories. In fact, I myself would just depend on the stories that I hear. Today we will hear the stories of people who came to EDSA, of persons who were responsible for, for the EDSA people power. We will hear about the songs that were sung during those times. But let us not forget, my dear brothers and sisters, to remember also the faith that the people showed during that time. Siguro po ngayong araw, marami kayong mababasa ng mga kwento. Sino-sino ang mga tao na nandoon? Ano-ano yung mga pangyayari? Ano-ano yung mga awitin na kinanta noong mga panahon na yon? 
Pero sana, huwag kakalimutan ang pinakamahalaga noong EDSA at walang iba kundi ang pananampalataya natin. Many people are even saying it should not be called people power but instead it should be called prayer power. And I think this is true because no man can defeat tanks. No single man can defeat a dictator full of power. No person can defeat corruption, abuse, dictatorship. No one man can do this. Only God can defeat dictatorship. Only God can defeat abuse. Only God can defeat abuse of power and corruption. It will not be possible without the power of prayer. EDSA will not be possible without the power of God. And so today, we are being reminded of the gospel when Jesus said to his disciples, Ask and you will receive, seek and you will find, knock and the door will be opened to you. But who is this whom we ask? Who is this whom we seek? Whom is this whom we knock on his door? Only God. That is why in EDSA, the Filipino people showed that when we ask God, when we seek God, when we knock on the door of God, then prayer will really become powerful. And so today, my dear brothers and sisters, let us like Queen Esther, in our first reading, hear the stories of our forefathers. Listen to the stories of people who experienced EDSA. Listen to the stories of people who were there in EDSA. But most importantly, hear the stories of faith so that today, in this very time, our faith can be strengthened also. You know, I am uh, honored to preach this morning about EDSA because right below me is buried Jaime Cardinal Sin underneath the crypt of the cathedral para tuloy Kinakabahan ako at uh, nakihiya ako no? na ako ngayon ang magpipreach about the EDSA People Power Revolution in the presence of Cardinal Sin, who was at that time a prophetic voice for the EDSA People Power Revolution. At alam niyo po, tuwing naririnig ko yung recording ng kanyang message sa Radio Veritas noong 1986. Hanggang ngayon, kinikilabutan ako kapag naririnig ko yon at pinakikinggan ko. And I said to myself, he was then Archbishop of Manila, napakatapang niya. He talked publicly through Radio Veritas and called people to go to EDSA to support the rebels. He can be arrested anytime. People can just go to his house, arrest him, and even kill him. That was very common at that time. And I think it is, coming, it is also becoming very common now that people are killed you are easily arrested. 
And when I listened to him, I thought, how courageous this man is. A courageous man full of faith in God. And when we look at our forebears, at our forefathers, we realize that their strength now becomes also our strength. My dear brothers and sisters, as we commemorate today the EDSA People Power Revolution of 1986, as we thank the Lord for this grace and for this gift, let our faith also be strengthened today by the stories of faith that, he will, that we will hear. Let us in this Mass thank the Lord for the gift of freedom and let us come to Him, ask Him, seek Him, knock on His door. And as a loving Father, He said, things will be given you when you are able to ask. Let us ask our loving Father for faith. Amen. Please stand. Christ makes a promise. Ask and it will be given to you. Let us come to our Heavenly Father with the trust and confidence of the prayer of our Lord. For every petition, let us say, Father of goodness, answer us. Father of goodness, answer us. That a deepening of prayer may spread throughout the church on earth. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father of, of goodness, goodness answer, answer us. That people caught in vices and sinful ways may seek forgiveness. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father of, of goodness, goodness answer, answer us. us that we may persist in prayer, no matter how discouraged we may be by life's misfortunes. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father of goodness, goodness answer, answer us. That the sick may learn to bear the cross of their illness meritoriously. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father of goodness, goodness answer, answer us that the faithful departed may be forgiven and be raised with Christ for all eternity. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father of goodness, goodness answer, answer us. us. Heavenly Father, we thank you for listening to our petitions. Help us to trust always in your loving ways and to accept your will in our lives. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours 
may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. Be merciful, O Lord, to those who approach you in supplication and accepting the oblations and prayers of your people, turn the hearts of us all towards you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is Yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ who said to your apostles Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter under, under my, my roof, roof, but, but only, only say, say the, the word, word and, and my soul shall be healed. healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. We pray, O Lord our God, that as you have given these most sacred mysteries to be the safeguard of our salvation, so you may make them a healing remedy for us, both now and in time to come. 
Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the mercy they have hoped for, O Lord, come to those who make supplication to you, and may the riches of heaven be given them, that they may know what it is right to ask and receive what they have sought. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Yeah.